It is day four here at TCT. I'm Peter Block for ACC.org in San Francisco at TT, TCT 2019. And with me is Tony DeMaria from San Diego. And it is day four, which has been a little light on, on trials today. Tony, we have two major trials we need to talk about. <clears throat> the first is the COAPT trial, the cost effectiveness of COAPT. It always costs money to have a new device, and particularly if you have to have a hospitalization to get it put in. And so the question arises, is it cost effective or not to get a microclip? Now, we've had some long-term follow-up. What's the answer? So the answer is uh, that it is cost effective. Uh, and, and the uh, metric that's used is the quality, the quality adjusted life years. And, and looking at the co-op data where the microclip clearly was superior in that group of patients to optimal medical therapy, uh, there was an anticipated uh, extension of, of survival of about 1.1 uh, years. And uh, when one looked at the cost of the procedure, it turned out that that would result in a cost per quality of about $55,000, which is at about the acceptable range uh, that we think uh, a therapy really is cost effective. So if your life goes out one year and it costs you 55 grand, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> All right. The interesting thing about that study is you might think that you know, the index hospitalization, which was about $48,000 to get this clip in roughly, uh, would make a big difference here just in terms of what follows up that the patients who had the clip would have far less follow-up cost. And it turns out that yes, they had a little less, but not as perhaps as much little as you less. would think. Yeah. Right. So they still have to come back for follow-ups, they still have to come back for various issues, but on balance, the $55,000 per year quality of life gain seems to be what people think is appropriate. I, I, I think so. It's not just that you're living longer, but you're living better. These patients clearly have a better quality of life, more exertional capacity, less hospitalizations. Um, I think a very cost-effective procedure in the right patient. Remember, the baseline for all this quality business was whether or not you should have renal dialysis. Right. That's how that all started. And I think the, the ceiling was about $60,000 somewhere. I'm not sure I remember that completely. I, I think you're right. And, and that was years ago. So that as, as inflation yeah. has occurred, it's, it surely must yeah. be higher than that. Okay. So the other trial we have to talk about is the partner three quality of life. This is a truly randomized TAVR against surgery up to one year, followed up at six months and one year. Interesting, actually, data, I think in that uh, a little bit surprising that how well TAVR is doing here. Yeah, I, they uh, used primarily the Kansas uh, City uh, cardiomyopathy qual uh, questionnaire, but uh, using the metrics there, along with some other testing like, like six minute walk and whatnot, um, the TAVR did uh, really quite well. Yeah. They're doing well at six months. At one year, they get to be close, right? They, I mean, we looked at that and said, wow, there's no difference. But you know, statistically, there is still a difference at one year. Yeah, I, I have to say that, that at one year, it may be statistically different, but probably not biologically different. Uh, uh, surgery, TAV are looking pretty, pretty similar. Yeah, but at one year, you know, I think what this reminds us is that early on, if you have your chest open, we're back to that issue again, it's not really terrific, and your quality of life is sort of decreased because you've had an incision. It hurts. Yeah, no, no question about it, and especially in this age group that's undergoing uh, uh, TAVR, that, that you're not going to, to snap back as quickly after uh, open-heart surgery. So there's day four, and now we know that not only is quality of life better in some of these new devices, but the cost seems to be appropriate. And uh, we'll move forward and see what happens next year. Thanks, Tony.